So, it's still Monday. It's still raining. It's still windy. It's still crazy. I still haven't been out of the apartment since Saturday, so I'm a little kooky. But, I have a reading from... Oh, I don't know if you can see because of the glare. Peace is Every Step by Teek Natan. It is page 51 called The River of Feelings. Again, the book is Peace is Every Step. The author is Teek Nat An. The River of Feelings. Our feelings play an important part in directing all of our thoughts and actions. In us, there is a river of feelings in which every drop of water is a different feeling, and each feeling relies on all the others for its existence. To observe it, we just sit on the bank of the river and identify each feeling as it surfaces, flows by, and disappears. There are three sorts of feelings, pleasant, unpleasant, and neutral. When we have an unpleasant feeling, we may want to chase it away, but it is more effective to return to our conscious breathing and just observe it, identifying it silently to ourselves. Breathing in, I know there is an unpleasant feeling in me. Breathing out, I know there is an unpleasant feeling in me. Calling a feeling by its name, such as anger, sorrow, joy, or happiness, helps us identify it clearly and recognize it more deeply. We can use our breathing to be in contact with our feelings and accept them. If our breathing is light and calm, a natural result of conscious breathing, our mind and body will slowly become light, calm, and clear, and our feelings also. Mindful observation is based on the principle of non-duality. Our feeling is not separate from us or caused merely by something outside of us. Our feeling is and for the moment, we are that feeling. We are neither drowned in nor terrorized by the feeling, nor do we reject it. Our attitude of not clinging to or rejecting our feelings is the attitude of letting go, an important part of meditation practice. If we face our unpleasant feelings with care, affection, and nonviolence, we can transform them into the kind of energy that is healthy and has the capacity to nourish us. By the work of mindful observation, our unpleasant feelings can illuminate so much for us, offering us insight and understanding into ourselves and society. Whew. Whoa, so for me, that boils down to whenever an emotion is present in my body, naming it, being with it, breathing it, seeing it come in, being with it, and seeing it go out. Not trying to change it, not trying to shift it, but just being with it, using my breath to settle into it, learning whatever lesson I need to learn from it, and then let it release without hanging on to it. And it's interesting about pleasant, unpleasant, and neutral. Because it reminds me about the boundaries that we all have in our lives, in all the pathways of our lives, the many pathways. Porous boundaries, P-O-R-O-U-S, meaning anything can just flow right through them, not good at all. Healthy boundaries or rigid boundaries. And this emotional exploration in our breath is a demonstration of a healthy boundary with ourselves. That we don't deny emotions, we name them, we experience them, we breathe into them, we learn what they have to teach us, and then we release them so that the next one can come in. Hmm. Thank you.